It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a pizza from Aldi and it's their Carlos Takeaway Stuffed Crust Hot Dog Pizza. That looks okay, don't it? Comes with a tomato relish. This is the second time we've tried to film a review of this pizza. The first time I put it straight in the oven grill on the grill bars and it fell through the grill bars. It's one of those freshly kind of the bread is fresh so you need to let the dough rise so stick it on an oven tray with some grease proof paper and you'll be away. That's what we're going to do this time. Let's get cooking. Here's a look at the pizza. I've let it cool a little. Still a bit of steam coming off the pizza. It looks okay. It looks a lot better than the last time. As I mentioned earlier, the last time it fell through the grill. That's much more like it. So we have a natural I say natural. A rising dough, that's what I was looking for earlier. So, loads of onion, hot dog, cheese, mustard, and bread. Just like you would get in, an, in a hot dog. Same ingredients. The roll, there's the bread. The sausage, there's the sausage. There's the mustard. There's the onions, and there's the tomato sauce. So, a very similar a very similar concept, but it's on a flatbread. It's weird, isn't it, how the brain works. I've, did a, I've done a burger pizza before. Again, same concept, all of the same things you would expect in a burger on a pizza. Because it's a pizza, slightly weird. It's about, it's about overcoming that with your brain, thinking to yourself, it's the same ingredients, but on a pizza. Anyway, let's dive into this. It looks really good. Oh, still, still hot. Mmm. The bread's lovely. Makes a difference. Oh, it's a stuffed crust as well. There's all sorts of tomato sauce in there. It'd be great if they filled that with a with an actual hot dog. That'd be really cool. Oh, hot. Okay, so the hot dog sausage is slightly smoked. There's a lovely firmness to the to the hot dog. Very similar to a fresh German style hot dog sausage. It's got like a crispy, crispy, sorry, sorry my, my, my apologies. It's got a, a thick skin on the sausage compared to a British sausage, but I love it. I love a good German banger. Tomato sauce is good. As I mentioned, the, the bread is tasty, the cheese is tasty. Mm. It's very good. I think it was around two pounds for this pizza. The mustard is lovely as well. Look at all that mustard. Mmm, good stuff. And of course, Aldi should be able to get sausage, right? It's a German company. Ah, so the tomato relish is in the, in the crust. which breaks the crust up a little bit in terms of not being too thick, not being too stodgy. My kids, they really eat the crust on a pizza. But I think when you stuff the crust with something, cheese or in this case, tomato relish, there's half a chance they might eat it. Mm. 
Mm. Cheese is delicious on the pizza as well. I like an Aldi pizza. I like, I do like supermarket pizza in general. Um, I have gone down the avenue of exploring kind of fresh pizzas from places like Domino's and Papa John's. I've not done a Papa John's review yet on the channel, but I'm sure I'll get around to that soon. Um, but yeah, there is a difference. There is a massive difference in in price, and there's a diff massive difference in quality. But this isn't too bad. I mean, look at all that hot dog on there for two pounds. It's not bad at all. Hmm. That's good. Really good. If you're looking for a relatively cheap, say, pizza night on the weekend, we have theme, theme nights in this family where we'll have a Chinese night on the weekend or a pizza night. And if we have a pizza night, I'll run up to Lidl or Aldi and I'll pick up a box of pizzas. You can pick them up for, you can buy a pizza for about 80 pence. All right, you've got to buy two or three, so it comes in at about £1.70 for the box. But you get three pizzas in that box. It's it's remarkably cheap, and it fe feeds the whole family if you're on a budget. Most of us are. Who isn't on a budget? The privileged few. Mm. I have real good quality. I want to mention the cooking time though. Pardon me. Oops, still there. I want to mention the cooking time. It might be my cooker. I never seem, I always seem to go over. I mean, it's not burnt. It's certainly not burnt. It's how I like to eat my pizza. But it needed more than the 21 minutes that they asked for. In fact, uh, that was on Gas Mark 6 as well. In fact, if I put it on about 10 past one, it wasn't ready until about 10 to two. It was more of a 40 minute cook. Comment in the comments box. Do you find that you're in a similar situation to me? By if you if you go by the the, the company's cooking times, it's way off. It's nowhere near cooked. Um, comment. Let me know. I've always found it, unless I just like my foot my food really kind of well done. Um, I've had plenty of cookers in my lifetime, and I've always kind of gone over the the spe specified cooking guideline, but at least ten minutes sometimes. Mmm. That's really good. Really good. I'll let you guys into a little secret. Earlier on today, I've just got over it. 11 o'clock, so three hours ago. More or less exactly. If some of you watch my Carolina Reaper chili eating, it was about three hours exactly on the nose when I, when I reviewed that. And I'd be, <laughs> I thought, yeah, this is, I made the video. I was like, yeah, this is okay. Um, I went out for my usual two hour walk and halfway through the walk, I nearly had to sit down on the pavement. My stomach was in bits. My stomach was cramping. It's been the last, even when I did the introduction to this video, when I did the intro talking about the box and stuff and let's get cooking, I was still, I was still cramping, but I needed something to eat. I needed something to eat. So check out the Carolina Reaper video. The whole, I had a whole Carolina Reaper pepper. Um, just got over it. This pizza's doing wonders to soothe my pain. Mm. Same clothes look as the Carolina Reaper video. 
same tired look. A few people have commented in the comments box on, the, on a few of my recent videos saying you look really tired. It's just, I think it's just the amount of work I'm putting in at the moment to uh, not only YouTube but family life and doing a, my little bits and pieces I do on the side. A um, bit of carpentry. But I wouldn't do it. If I didn't enjoy it, I really enjoy making these YouTube videos. I really enjoy reading your comments and yeah, it's just all great. Love it. I'm going to rate this pizza. If you're in the market for a, a stuffed crust hot dog pizza, them for a couple of quid you can't go far wrong with Aldi I like that enough the quality of the bread did it for me the fact it was just it was a rising baking whatever they call it a rising dough is it on the on the pizza the fact it was rising dough the fact there was a little bit more quality the, the hot dog was nice, the mustard went nice with the hot dog, the tomato was good, the bread was good, the onions were a nice touch. That's enough for an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!